Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Zerx here. Welcome back to another Beast Farm Simulator video. And in this one, I'll be telling you guys things that you probably don't know about Beast Farm. So I did make two videos about this, and they did really well, so I decided to make a part three. So if you guys do end up finding something new while watching this video, make sure you drop a like. It really does help support my channel. Also subscribe, we're like really close to 25,000 subs. And also, if you want to join my Discord, just click the first link in the description. I'm very active on there, so if you want to talk to me, just join that. That's the best way to talk to me. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'd like to show you guys is something I found just a few days ago. So I was doing a hide and seek on one of my live streams, and then some guy ended up using this place as a hiding spot, so let me just show you guys. So around the map, there are three of these instant converters for tickets, so they cost one ticket to instantly convert all your pollen. So in these uh, instant converters, you have this entrance. So uh, right here, you can just go in through this entrance, and I never knew about this. And uh, you're not able to jump on top of this thing uh, from right here, uh, but you're able to go in it from the side, and I fell. And then uh, right here, if you guys didn't know, this is where the tunnel bear is, so usually you chop down like this. But you are able to go there through the... A secret little entrance at the side. But yeah, so if you've ever been like gathering baby love for the tunnel bear and then you get so fast you can barely jump in this thing, just go around to the side and then just walk into this thing. It's that easy. And then you have the secret little code thing, black bear title. And so yeah, uh, this is a pretty cool thing. And I'm pretty sure you can't do it with a sunflower thing because the fence is blocking it. But let me just go check real quick. Yeah, the fence is blocking it right here. So you're not able to go in it, unfortunately. But anyway, this is a pretty cool secret that I never knew about B-Swarm. So uh, in my previous video, I did show this, but a lot of people, uh, I think, didn't like get to the part of the video where I showed this glitch. So basically, this is the sprinkler glitch. So this is a way that you can get like basically infinite sprinklers. So if you don't have the supreme sprinkler, this is going to be very useful for you. So uh, having, so not having the supreme sprinkler means you have to place down like three or four sprinklers at a time. Usually, you place them in like a square on the field. Uh, so like it covers as much as you can, but there's a way to make all the diamond, gold, and like silver sprinklers stand in one spot. So if you try placing a sprinkler in the middle of a field and then you try doing it again, so you cannot place sprinklers this close to each other. But the way you can place them together is you just jump and then instantly press your sprinkler button. And then uh, you can place multiple sprinklers in one spot and then as you can see, it does end up like generating a lot of the flowers much quicker. And I'm not sure if this is more efficient than the Supreme Sprinkler, probably not, but... But anyway, it's pretty cool, so let me just get my Supreme Sprinkler once again. And unfortunately, you're not able to do it with a, a Supreme Sprinkler, but... But you can do it with any sprinkler, which you can place multiple of, like the Silver, Gold, and Diamond. So it's very useful for mid-game players, so if you're mid-game, make sure you abuse this glitch while it's not patched. And then the next thing a lot of people also don't know about, this is a very good spot for hide and seek even though it's like very common for people to go and hide in it. But anyway, this next secret is going to be inside the pineapple shop. So the way you get to it, it's pretty hard since Roblox removed shift lock, so hopefully they bring it back. But the way you get to the secret hiding spot is you just try and jump on this blue thing. So once you're able to jump on the blue like thing up here, you just jump on this yellow platform. You just jump on this yellow platform and you are under the meteor uh, shower thing. So you're not able to like activate it from below, unfortunately. But anyway, you can run around in this like uh, in the ceiling of the pineapple shop and then you can jump up here. So this is a second secret room. So this is also above the pineapple shop, but below the mountain top field. So there's not really much that you can do here. There's like some line, but I don't know what that does. But anyway, it's a pretty cool thing. And also there's like a secret maze band here, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about it. Yeah, also make sure you get these three glues over here. A lot of people don't know about this, so, you know, pretty cool spot. And then these next few spots, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about, but they just, like, forgot about, or they just, uh, never know. So these few spots were very common for people to, like, pay attention to, like, one or two years ago when they first came out. But now, a lot of the new players don't know about this, so if you started playing Beast Swarm, like, a year ago or so, you probably don't know about this spot. So if you have the coconut crab defeated and uh, unlocked, you can just go over here and then above the coconut dispenser, you have the secret passageway, which gives you tickets, jelly beans, and enzymes, so it's very useful. So I know a lot of people don't know about this, so if you haven't gotten any of those items yet, make sure you do because, you know, everyone needs jelly beans and like all the other resources. And then this next thing is inside the pedal shop, so this is also a place that a lot of people don't know about. If you're a new player, make sure you go ahead and check this out. 
So if you just unlock the 35B area, make sure you go over here and collect the star jelly. Because uh, personally, I don't need star jellies because I have like over 200 of them and I don't use them on my hive because I have normal jelly for that. But if you're a new player, you know that getting gifted bees is very tough and expensive because you don't have much resources to spend uh, on royal jelly. So the best way to get uh, gifted bees is from star jelly. So make sure you go ahead and get the star jelly over here. And there's this little maze. I have no clue how you get to it, but hopefully uh, someone does tell me how to get it. So if you know how you can pass through this little area thing, make sure you go ahead and tell me in the comments. It really does help. And then this next thing, also a lot of people know about, but they don't take the time to like pay attention to it, or they just forgot about this. Or there are some people who don't even know about this. So for this to work, you do need the gummy bee unlocked. So then you can talk to it, and then you can enter the gummy layer. So the way you enter the gummy layer is, first of all, like I just said, you have to own the gummy bee. And if you do own the gummy bee, you're in luck because you just use one gumdrop and then you go into the gummy layer. So in the gummy layer, you have the glue dispenser, which depending on your goo bad, gives you different amounts of glue. So I think you get two, three, four, and five. So I think every 22 hours, you do get glue from two to five, it does, depending on your goo badge. And then the thing that people don't know about is these secret items behind uh, the honeycomb uh, items right here. So right here, you have the gummy mask and the gummy boots, you know, pretty expensive, but do own both of these. So behind the gummy boots uh, right here, you do have glitter in this honeycomb thing. So if you just want to collect it, just jump up and down for a bit, and then you should be able to get it if you jump in the honeycomb. And then back here, you know, you have these enzymes to so make sure you get that too. And then up here, you have a star jelly, so very useful. So I know a lot of people know about this, uh, so if you do, just don't complain i do know a lot of people do not know about this so this is only for the people who are new to the game and have not figured out everything that is here but yeah so that's basically everything tell me in the comments if there's something that you didn't know from this video or if you just learned something new about beast form from this video so tell me in the comments i do try and read as many comments as i can so if there's a good chance i'll get back to you but yeah uh if you did enjoy just drop a like and sub with post notice on it's free and it really does help support my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy my Discord. Peace.